Mike Fisher reporting from AT&T Stadium uh, late Monday night, uh, and <laughs> it went on too long. Uh, Cowboys lose 38-10 to to the Cardinals, and they don't just lose. They, they got pounded uh, almost from the start. Again, uh, they, the way they almost have in every game, certainly have in every home game. And the first thing that Mike McCarthy and the people above him and the people below him, the Joneses uh, and the people in the locker room, the first thing they need to concede to, first thing, the big lie. Stop it with the big lie. And there's a bunch of them. Oh, we were one turnover away. No, you're about four away. Oh, we could do all the same things with Andy that we did with that. Couldn't do any of the same things. You could do any of the same things. Oh, and this is the biggest one. We practice well. We just didn't play. No, that's a big lie. There are at least three players that are essentially starters on this defense that should not start in the NFL. Safety, corner, defensive tackle are not starting players in the NFL. And they don't practice like starting players on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then all of a sudden show up on Sunday and all the great things they did on Thursday fail them. That's simply not true. It's a big lie. It's also a big lie to pretend that there isn't a disconnect between what the players are trying to learn and what the coaches are trying to teach. I reported over the weekend that I had a former coach watch Cowboy film, watch their defense, and say, the problem isn't necessarily lack of hustle. It's that they don't know what they're supposed to be doing. So they're hesitating. And it creates the impression that they're not trying, but that's not it. They don't know what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, now, this is week six. You're running out of time to try to, to, try to get a connection between the teachers and the pupils. And you're wasting time by pretending that there isn't a disconnect. There is something wrong with the way these teachers, coaches teach. There is something wrong with the way these students, players learn. There is a problem. And lying about it, pretending it doesn't exist, whether that's what the Cowboys are doing in the media or whether that's what they're doing privately in the building is part of the disease here. Ironically, this is still, even after this debacle, a first place Dallas Cowboy team in a division that, that nobody can win, but somebody will, and the Cowboys are the likeliest team to stumble into it, and then, by gosh, host a playoff game, the way this thing is structured now. This team hasn't earned any of that. This team hasn't earned its acclaim. This team hasn't earned its money. Uh, this team hasn't earned first place. And worst of all, this team hasn't earned the right to keep telling the big lie. Fish, out.